we are going to take this sample and turn it into this and make that the main focus of the entire song. Let's get into it. What we did with that sample right there, this, what we did is we took that drum fill and after that drum fill, I made it into a percussive sample. I added the air filter, I added the air limiter, I added the uh, EQ to it, as well as I added Air Flavor Pro. And that's how I was able to get... I didn't do much to it. I just did a very low pass on the air filter. You know, I made it snappy for my air limiter, for my EQ. I did the Hi-Fi EQ. All of these were presets. And then I just put the Air Flavor Pro, Pro on there and I'm using the Akai ST1. I said, you know what? I need a sample. So since I need a sample, what I did is I went to a Cymatics pack and I got this sample right here. I could keep going, but I wanted certain parts of it. So, you know me, I don't play things like it normally is. So for my sample loop, this is what I did. Like that. The sample loop actually sounds like this. So then I said, you know what? I need some drums. I need some drums. So I went and I got these sounds. Because I didn't know if I was going to go trap or if I was going to go hip hop. But then I said, you know what? I always use somebody else's kits. Why don't I use mine? <laughs> I went to the Bon Appetit kit. And with the Bon Appetit kit, which you can get on Gumroad, you can go to Gumroad and purchase the Bon Appetit kit. And I got these drums. So what I decided to do is go for it, more of a R&B-ish, neo-soul-ish, eclectic hip-hop sound. I got the percussion in the background, which starts off like this. And then I got my sample that I made like this. I did with that bad boy right there and then you get something similar to this now I'm gonna go ahead and mute the drums take solo off I'm gonna mute the drums we're gonna mute the bass and we're gonna mute the synth now let's get into it so it sounds like this the drums this is what we got because I did <laughs> yeah but wait I said it sounds empty so you know what I had to do I had to put a bass in there so initially I tried to sample a bass and I tried to sample the sound but I gotta learn the gating, so I wasn't able to gate it yet. I said, you know what? Let me play with this bass for a minute. And this bass right here is from the bass line patches that are in here, the bass line um, VSTs and sounds and things of that nature that are inside the MPC Live 2. All this is inside the MPC Live 2. So this is the sign octave. I grab my keyboard. This is the, I grab this keyboard right here. This is the Novation Launch Key. With this being the Novation Launch Key, what I decided to do is play the bass line. And going with the melody, I played these notes here. That's all you're gonna hear. You're gonna hear the boom. That's that's what you're gonna hear right there. And it sounds just like this. How did I get that where it, it blends into each other? You know, that little glissando or something like that. All I did was play one more time. So that leads into the track and it sounds like this. But 
I said, how can I add the chorus out and make it a bit more chorusy? So I added the plugin, and this plugin is your tube synth. And this is the Velo Zing, and it sounds like this. It's very low, so it's hard to hear. It sounds like this. So we got and now it sounds like this. problem. It's too bassy. There's bass I'm mixing here as well. I got asked the question, can you mix in here? Yes, you can. Some people prefer not to, but I mix right inside the MPC Live 2. Now watch what I'm about to do. So I'm going back to my main sample. Track one has the main sample. Sounds like this. There's a lot of bass in that. So what I did is I already bounced at the sample. Now one thing you could have done is you could have went, come here, and it says copy track. Now you could have copied that track um, and turn it into a totally different track. Now what I did is I bounced it to samples. So I'm gonna go here to a whole new track, an unused track, and then I'm gonna go back here to the program. And now that I'm in program, this is an unused program as you can see. So now I'm gonna go into this program, but I wanna hit twice and I wanna go into my, I'm gonna browse my samples, go to sample assign. I'm just going to go through until I'm going to go through until I find the sample I'm looking for. And there it is right there. Sure, it takes so long. There it is. So what are we going to do now? I'm going to go in here, my inserts, and I'm going to add a high pass filter. We're gonna get a high pass filter. And then I wanna go back and I wanna solo the track. Solo. Get my high pass filter. Yeah. Taking out some of the bass, some of the bass, not all of it. Then I'm gonna go back to track one. Let's go to track one, because this is where the main sample is at. I got the air low fire effect on there. But with the air low fire effect, I'm gonna pull more of the effects out. I was watching a, a video, forgot the producer's name, and he was saying that if you bring in the air low fire, what you do is you turn down the pre of the anti alias, you turn down the pre and turn down the post and then turn it on. Then you come to sample rate and you pull the sample rate down. So now you got more of a bassy. track track eight and we're going to just add this in and we're just going to add that in just like that now check this out this is the coup de gras here watch this so now If you 
like this video, make sure you support this video. Go to Gumroad. Check me out there. All the things I got going on, I guarantee you're going to like the sounds and things I have. If you like this video, make sure you watch this video right here because I got some more tips and tricks for you. I guarantee you it's going to help you out. Grab the Bon Appetit kit. Look for the uh, Gorilla kit, the Gorilla Instruments kit as well. We got some dope sounds. We got more videos and tutorials coming for you. Thank you so much for chilling with me. Thank you all. Peace.